Have you ever CC'd the boss on something you wish you hadn't? Have you ever posted an office holiday party pic that you probably shouldn't have? There's more to office etiquette than you think. We'll tell you more right after the cut. Hi everyone. As a student or recent grad these days, we've grown up attached to our tech. Whether it's our phones or our laptops, few of us can really spend more than a few hours without staring at some sort of screen. It's not the greatest of habits, and that's why it's not a surprise we bring that habit to our workplace. It's for this reason that you should learn office etiquette rules as it relates to digital devices. To help you out, the jobposting.ca team put together these few etiquette tips to get you right on track. First up is managing your mobile devices. Recent research studies are finding that they're becoming the leading cause of workplace distractions. For example, workplace etiquette issues happen when the ringer is so loud that all your office neighbors hear it, or when you take a personal call at your desk, or when you send sensitive info via text. In general, try to find ways to limit your smartphone use while at the office. This can mean turning off your phone notifications or turning off your phone entirely when you're at your desk. Next is dealing with email. The thing is, writing an effective email needs way more attention than people think. Typos and incorrect contact info can turn into embarrassing, expensive, and sometimes job-ending mistakes. The thing is, most of you know how to write a proper email. It's just that we send so many sometimes that we can lose focus and royally mess up. That's why it's always a good idea to invest in a spelling and grammar checking software like Grammarly to help you catch any obvious mistakes. And when you're emailing a client or anyone above you in office rank, always give yourself some extra time to re-edit your email and make sure the tone is professional. Finally, the last piece of office etiquette we'll cover are video meetings. These types of meetings are becoming way more common, especially as more business is done globally and as more businesses allow their employees to work from home. The trick is, if you're going to use video conference tech, then you better learn how to use them well especially how to troubleshoot last minute tech issues. You never want to be late to a meeting with your boss or a client because you forgot to check whether your equipment worked before the meeting time. Also, when doing video meetings, be sure to dress fully as if you were in the office. And if you're hosting the virtual meeting, then learn to be a killer host. That means introducing participants, listening and not interrupting others. Thanks so much for watching this jobpostings.ca job hunt video. Be sure to leave a comment below to tell us what you thought about today's career tips. Maybe you have a couple of your own that you'd like to share. And if you have any questions about this video or have requests for future job tip videos, please let us know. We'll do our best to answer everybody. In the meantime, if you like this video, please click the like button or share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button just down below.